Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to try and keep this one short, sweet and professional for you just to give you the information that you absolutely need to know right now and some of the really important levels going into the next few days. So uh, yeah, without further said ado, let's get straight into what we love. That's looking at the Bitcoin charts and I want to start off with, um, you know, the reason of the current move to the downside. So as we all know, without technical analysis, without no technical levels marked on our charts, it's just a guessing game. It's a total gamble. What do we do? We add on levels of technical analysis, we add on our levels of confluence, and that's how we get these high probability trades. So what we can do here is I've actually taken a new uh, fixed range pull, and that's from the low that was made back on the 18th of June, okay, to current price. You might be thinking, why would I take this fixed range pull? And it's basically just to put together all of the volume that we have been looking at since that low. So then we add on that fixed range pull we can see we have given a value area high, which we can see is very well respected as resistance. Come up to the resistance, rejection, 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 really a rejection. And then the final touch here, and we all know what the confluence was. Well, I hope you know what the confluence was. That high down to the low, we came into the CC Fibonacci level uh, on that current value area high. But really, it was the primary reason the CC there. We obviously came down, spent some time around this point of control, flush to the downside. Quick move to the upside, which was a rejection off of the whole range point of control, sitting at around $21,000 which in my opinion is a bigger level, by the way, before we came back down, losing the value area low. And then we can see here a SR flip. So this value area low goes from resistance, 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 and then flipped into support. We are then going from a resistance into support. And we saw this move up early morning today up into that zone of the point of control. And um, there's a few things that I'd be looking at when we hit such levels, such as, well, really simply the value area lows, the point of controls. What we're going to be looking at here is the order flow. What's coming in here? How many people are buying? How many people are selling? What's the activity? What's the delta? Okay, we're, we're looking at the finer details of the actual evidence that's coming in here. And I always like to refer to this as actual evidence because there's no guessing going on. When you are looking at the order flow here, you're looking at actual, real, executed orders. There's no guessing. This is is what's actually happening. So as we can see, the, the first touch, again, this is into resistance. There's something to bear in mind here. I think it's very important to listen to what I say. We come up into a point of control of a local range. Again, I think the bigger resistance is for the bigger pool at $21,000. But nevertheless, when you come up into such a level, even just with the simple fact if you had nothing on, there's one simple fact that you're going to see me repeat, that when you see a large move to the upside such as this, this was on a coming into more or less... 7% uh, move to the upside. There's one thing that you're never going to be seeing me doing, and that's looking to long after a 7% move to the upside. So there's always two options here, in my opinion, only, and that's no trade or it's a short trade. So what we're going to be looking at is, is there an execution for a short? And what we can come down here on the lower term timeframes and see with the order flow, that the first time you hit into that point in control, we can actually see 10 million new longs opening on this candle. And then at the very high 2.5 million, this is the delta. Okay, this is the delta. The actual candle has about 80 million. But we can see about 12.5 12 million uh, in positive delta here with the open interest increasing that shows us that a lot of, lot of new longs are opening into the point of control resistance we then get a pullback off of this level and then on the return to this level we can start to see here um, about 4 million new longs opening followed by some shorts opening followed by new longs and basically a mixture of new longs and new shorts coming into each other what we can see with a lower high made we're actually making the same level high on the cvd so this is giving us very slight, very slight bearish divergences because you've got the same level on the CVD, but a slightly lower high. So this is what I'd refer to as slight bearish CVD divergences. Um, if you're trading a CCTR setup, though, you actually do have a CCTR setup on the on the off of the lower term time frames. Um, so you, you're getting a reason to execute short positions here. Again, it's not for everybody. It's more for the lower term time frame traders to execute this, but then nevertheless, you're given setups. And off of, obviously from the back of that, what, what's happening here, we're coming down to the PDEQ, which is down and around this value area low zone. You do also have this CCV setup today. So this is just something to bear in mind, obviously gives a bit of a lower target, but we have this initial range to be looking at here. And the way that I would approach this now is personally, 
Um, well, there's a few levels that you're going to have want to have marked out. Obviously, don't forget this point of control that coming in now at about, let's just say, $20,300. Uh, the bigger level is obviously $21,000. And then you're currently sat with the value area low there at $19,555 with that lower target coming in at thirteen, sorry, $19,329. So you have a few different levels to be to be gauging the reaction from here so for example we're coming down to this value area low i will let you give you a give you a quick glimpse of what i'd be looking at here and we haven't quite tapped this level yet but this is what i'd be looking at okay so across these templates we're going to be looking at obviously on this one we come down on a lower term time frame so we have no real sign of strength at the moment at all there's no divergences forming we're seeing lots of new shorts opening on the break so this is continued strength at the moment, unless we see the reclaim all these divergences forming at the moment of the PDEQ. For me, this would not be executing a long at the moment. I'd be waiting for lower. Um, we can see lots of resistance above us, no support close by apart from that PDEQ, which we are attempting to get a bounce off of. But the bounces, in my opinion, this is what I'd refer to as a weak bounce. If let's say I had plans maybe to long this level and I saw this type of reaction, I would really simply remain patient in short positions because this isn't the type of the reaction that I would refer to as bullish. Okay, coming back down obviously into that previous day uh, NPOC uh, zone. So we have the PD. NPOC, which is no longer naked, of course, because we've tapped it. But that zone obviously has the PDEQ. It does have the previous day point of control there off the TPO charts. But in my opinion, this is this is a weak reaction. I'd be searching down for my next level, um, really simply because there's no bullish reaction off of this. So the next level is again just very very slightly below us there at nineteen thousand five hundred and sixty. Again, this is a you know don't look at it as an exact exact dollar, but this is what how we can refer to. You know, some people are like, hey Daniel, has this level been front run? And in my opinion would be no this level has not been front run well technically it's been front run at the moment but i would say this level has yes been front runs very slightly but because the weak reaction is weak i would not be longing yet thinking this is a actionable executable long why because the reaction is weak i would really simply be looking for lower either for that level to actually be tapped and then judge the reaction or lower once more and again how do i know whether this level is going to hold or whether we search down for my next level to the downside really simply i'm following the order flow i'm coming in here and i'm looking at the actual data that's formed and this is what's giving me you know the heads up of is this is a good reaction is this a poor reaction it's basically all off of, off of that order flow that's coming in here. And at the moment, we have slightly front run the level. The reaction is weak. And I would really simply search for low and remain in my short positions. So that's the really quick update that I wanted to give you here. I wanted to talk you through uh, why we rejected where we rejected from, the levels that we are, or the levels that I'm currently day trading from. And then if we break this range um you know, a few of the key levels on the day trades here. Of course, if you want to know my swing trading plans, that's all been covered in the last Champions live stream, literally one uh, now two days ago. So if you want to see my swing trading plans, that's given in the Champions live stream. Go in, obviously, a much more depth, answer all your questions, give you all the answers that you need. Uh, that's obviously there. And if you want the daily updates with, again, much more detail, hour long live streams, Mike is actually currently in a live stream right now. Um, so, you know, we've got lots of updates. Being pumped out. I got my contenders live stream tomorrow where I'm going to be going over accumulation and distribution patterns. So we've got the educational content, you've got the live updates as it's coming in. And of course, now in the Discord, you have the read only coaches channel. So we're pumping out lots of content. Should you want any more, we're here to help you. And I've given you my update on the lower term time frames here. And why I believe that this reaction is going to ultimately end with a new low being made. You can see if I'm right or I'm wrong. I'll upload this <laughs> either way. Uh, time will tell. It's Let's just say it this. It's not often that I am wrong. So we'll, we'll wait and see. But I think there's going to be a new low made here at the very least off of the current low $19,587. So we'll wait and see if I'm right here. Uh, if I was a betting man, I know who I'd bet on. Um, and I just will end with the, obviously, I've got to end with this now. Uh, the non-financial advice, everything that I've gone through here is just for the education entertainment purposes only. No financial advice at the end of the day. We're just talking about demo paper trades. So thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video that I make. Cheers, everybody. Have a brilliant day and goodbye.